this amazing spectacle, which lasts for 16 seconds, <laughs> is, the mo- is all the more remarkable as the reptile. <laughs> as the reptile skull move in such a bafflingly <laughs> harmonious way. I am Christian, the curator of the Theo and Harris Watch Shop. Shop, Harris, and Theo, fam, what is up is Can Michael. Can you take anything I seriously? Backwards. Oh, I can do it. Uh, yeah, no, so today we're going to be talking about a couple of things in the watch industry. Um, Only Watch, which is a big uh, charitable auction in yep. the watch industry where watches, like a tutor sells for $650,000. Yes. Where watches go for dumb money, but there's a couple of weird things going on A couple of well. gorgeous watches, a couple of ugly watches, and... Yeah. A couple of ugly guys. A couple of ugly, couple of ugly guys. That are, that, if they're brilliant, though, what does that change? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and then also uh, the Grand Prix de Hallargerie. I pronounced that incorrectly because I'm from Jersey. Jersey. Uh, anyway, uh, there's one particular watch that, that won in this award that I wanted to discuss. Um, we're going to do a couple of antics, but then we're going to get into watches in a minute. So yeah. let's start off with um, with the Grand Prix de uh, Hurl G, whatever French word. Kristen's directing this episode, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yes. It should be. It should be on the record that um, Michael made me do his job this time, so yes. I wrote the episode. Yes. <laughs> As if it's like this big fit. Right? Yeah. Right. No, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, and my lives are better than his anyway. <laughs> Grand Prix Technology is is a is an award uh, ceremony. It's like the Oscars for watches. Um, uh, yeah, uh, watches don't make movies, so yeah. it's not that. So it's actually not. <laughs> uh, and and the winners of the Grand Prix uh, Horology are actually supposed to be on their merit, not on their political relevance. Ooh, the Oscars roasted, suck. roasted. Uh, you don't like the Oscars? Academy Awards Oscars all suck. Wow. This is, you you wow. thought that I would like those things? Yeah, I thought. Well, you love film. The, the best films aren't even nominated. Wow. It's a bunch of garbage. Wow. You don't think so? It's not just topical? No, it's definitely topical, but oh, still, it's on. like the whole, like, it's the Oscars. No, I, no. I wow. disagree with you. I don't understand why we why we praise celebrities so much. I don't get it at all. Yeah. I don't give a f- about what you're talking about. Like, like I, I, I really don't care at all. Yeah, right. I am the least amazed person when I see a celebrity. I'm like, Is I'm that why have... the YouTube suggestions is all movie clips from yeah. the same three movies for the past 10 years? You okay? Don't you ever? I don't idolize them. I don't. <laughs> but his whole life after Anthony Bourdain, I don't see the hype in celebrities. <laughs> the hypocrisy. <laughs> He's a hypocrite. He's a hypocrite. Uh, anyway, so the Grand Prix, uh, the, the one watch I wanted to talk about, um, there are a lot of winners. Louis Vuitton won two watch, won two awards. Believe it or not, um, best diver award. But then this the one interesting one that I wanted to talk about. This is the one for the Audacity Prize. So this is a so this is a horrible looking watch in my opinion. I mean not in my opinion. I think I do. Yeah. This watch looks like if Ed Hardy made a watch. Yes. Right. And I mm-hmm. in, in middle school I knew someone that it was his family won the lottery mm-hmm. and all they, it wasn't a big lottery. They won oh. like a million dollars. I mean you know who doesn't want to win a yeah, million yeah. dollars? But they won a million dollars and 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 they you know they didn't have the million dollars for very long. But they the kids only wore Ed Hardy for like two years. Really. And wow. New Ed Hardy shirt every day. Really. <laughs> Those shirts were expensive. They were horrible looking. They yeah. Were expensive. Expensive at yeah, the time. That's funny. It's like a hundred and something dollars a piece. You're just sitting there like, oh, that's not gonna go. Yeah, that it's not gonna go very far. Hmm. Yeah. You know? Anyway, so I, I, I hate the way this watch looks, but yeah. um, but apparently, and it was doing some reading about it, and, and, and not just the direct sources, but even from from you know critics, and apparently, it's just one of the most incredible you know pieces. So not only does it have a jumping hour, a retrograde minute, a power reserve display, uh, and then a couple of automatons as well. So the wow. watch actually moves. The snake moves. The the mouse of the of the skull moves so aesthetics aside this is a remarkable watch so what wow. I you know the, technically speaking uh, and I and I hate the way it looks I hate it I hate it I hate it yeah, it's <laughs> I, massive it's too horrible it's looking. absolutely a tank yeah it's okay, horrible looking um, but what does interest me um, is is not this watch I, I think this is an ugly watch but it's interesting to see Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton wow. um, dump in time and money into the watch industry that's yes. interesting. Right. Real money, right? Not just like, oh, we'll throw our name yeah, we'll, on we'll a Yeah, we'll make dial. a designer watch, right? That, to me, is a sneak peek into what's coming. This watch is 100% unimportant. This does not matter at all. Right. But 
what does it tell us about the next five or 10 years or 20 years at LV for watches? That's interesting. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to it. I love an underdog. I love a difficult battle. Um, I Louis think Vuitton that, is the underdog. That 100%. Can really Louis it. Vuitton. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny the brand. Little, t- tiny <laughs> brand. Yeah, not well funded. <laughs> you know. Uh, Louis Vuitton has a has a very very tall hill to climb as far as you know branding. Uh, I, I, oh, yeah. I, I I don't know polls here. Uh, I don't I don't have market research on this. But I I would I would make a gentleman's wager mm-hmm. that uh, not the mass population. Mass populace probably likes Louis Vuitton watches, but mm-hmm. the watch community I would bet uh, is pretty adverse Definitely. to having Louis 100%. Vuitton on their watch. Yeah. So we'll see if they can climb this mountain and actually reverse public opinion and. Frankly, I am not. Um, I'm not the kind of guy that's dumb enough to bet against LVMH. <laughs> You're yeah. Like I'm just not. Like yeah, I don't know how they're gonna do it. I would love. You know, I, I, yeah. I look forward to watching, but I bet they're gonna do it. The the, the conglomerate. You can't get yeah, bet yeah. against them. Yeah, they're they're gonna win. They're smart. They're just you know f- money of it. You know, they're just very you smart. Every player company. on your team. Yep. Every player. So uh, so I've got a good feeling. Again, this watch is ridiculous. It's ugly. I don't care that it's complicated. It doesn't matter to me at all. I don't give a shit. That right. is a horrible looking, tasteless watch. Anyway, yeah, so, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a great watch. <laughs> it's amazing spectacle. <laughs> oh, that's you I didn't write that. I didn't write that, though. Oh, that's you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what he just pointed to was a description that someone wrote about the Louis Vuitton watch and it's about the automaton and he says that's you tomorrow and the comment is this is written by somebody else this amazing spectacle which lasts for 16 seconds <laughs> is the mo- is all the more remarkable as the reptile <laughs> as the reptile skull moving such a bafflingly <laughs> harmonious way <laughs> And I'm the drunk one. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, my God. It's just so, it, the whole thing works, but the whole thing also does not yeah, work. Not in my favor. Not at all. Yeah, it works for you. <sighs> uh, but it means a lot more than that. And that's interesting. Big bank, take little bank. Yeah. Bank. Big bank. <laughs> you know what sign it is? No. It's, uh... I know Only Watch is a charity event, and a lot of big watch companies and Baltic Mm -hmm. make big statements, so they have their best, coolest watch, and Mm -hmm. then they donate it to, I forget what, is it MS? Um, I believe so. Okay. I don't know if it's true, but so. It at least was once. I don't know if it's still. Yeah, yeah. but done. big charity event. All the big names do something cool. They raised 30 million Swiss francs uh, in this last Only Watch. Wow. It's quite a bit of money. Do you know how much that is? It's like thirty million bucks. It's a, it's almost a one to one. It's wow. basically a one to one. It's not a one to one, but it's pretty close. It's close, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. So so yeah. The, the only watch is charitable auction. But now the interesting thing with this only watch is you yeah. see astronomical numbers um, come in uh, for these watches. Yes. Right? If the Tudor Black Bay will sell for a couple hundred thousand dollars. It's ridiculous. Right. Uh, and and you know people say, oh, it's the it's a record for a Black Bay. That's that's ridiculous. That's not fair to say. I mean, it's yeah, a, it's right, a charity right. auction, so it's like you're making a two hundred thousand dollar donation, and you're getting a free watch. Right. Very different than right. you're paying two hundred grand for a black bay. Exactly. This is the Audemars Piguet fifteen two hundred two. It sold for three point one million dollars. So this watch was manufactured in sandblasted titanium, and then they uh, with polished bulk metallic uh, glass. This wow. is nuts. Yeah, that what is. What do you gorgeous. think about a fifteen two hundred two in titanium? Incredible. Three point one million dollars. It's quite a bit of money. Yeah. That would definitely make me double check my accounts after, but I'd still get it. Yeah. yeah. Have you tried on a 15202? No. Really? Yeah. Uh, that's regrettable. You know, again, it's you, know, you can't really talk about the money here because of the caveat that it's charity. Yeah, Baltic but, sold for 50000 Well, that's where it's going next. A yeah. Baltic sold for $50,000. That's is a, actually the one Chris bought. No, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a re- this is a watch that you know retails for you know a couple of hundred dollars. Yeah, you know, and it's selling for fifty thousand. It's a great looking watch, though. Is, is it a one of one? Yeah, they're all a one of one. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Only all, watch. All, all of the only watch, exactly. Right, right. So that's an interesting piece. Brigay participated in only watch, and they basically produced the same watch this year they did two years ago in 2019. Only watch watches are supposed to be very unique and different. They're the only watch. watch. The only crazy, watch. Right. right. They literally manufactured almost the same watch two years ago. That's that's a look. Come on, Brigay. That's that's paying for dinner but not paying the full bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah it was yeah, 25, yeah. I gave you 12. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's oh. like, okay. <laughs> that's weird. Um, yeah. That was and, and even the engraving on 
the back, I think is horrible. Yeah. Look at that. Look how, how much of an afterthought. That looks like an engraving that I, you know, that I got on at, at the mall. Yep. You know, like those yep. those stores where they just engrave things for you. Yeah. Just whatever you want. Like it's a in coffee a plain cup. Form. Like okay. Yeah. This is a coffee cup watch. Well, not the watch. The watch itself is fantastic. No, coffee you don't cup like watch. it. No, I love the watch. Yeah, watch but I, I mean the the design, like what should have gone into it. But yes. the person that paid two hundred fifty thousand that's watching this video is like. That guy's like, uh Really? That's not what I thought they'd say. That guy is upset <laughs> now. He sends it back. Honey, I actually hate Theo and Harris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is an incredible collaboration. So this was between D. Bethune and uh, Kari Vultalainen. And this is cool because it's a, it's a D. Bethune case yeah. and a Vultalainen uh, dial. And wow. that is very cool. That's a great collaboration. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, Set phasers to stun. I don't get it. You don't know what that is? No. Forget it. This? Star Trek? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why didn't you just say that? Okay. It's a f***ing quiz show. Yeah. And you lost. <laughs> okay, uh, where FP? did it go? FP. Yep. If you ever wondered whether or not Francis Ford Coppola has done shrooms, <laughs> this is the answer this is, to yeah, the yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, this watch was inspired by a patent for Embro, from Embro Paré, uh, a 16th century um uh, inventor, the father of modern surgery. Francis Ford Coppola was speaking to F.P. Jorn, Francois Paul Jorn, mm -hmm. and apparently he's a fan. I didn't know that. I didn't know that Francis Ford Coppola was a I fan of F.P. Jorn. Um, obviously, he's the director of, of uh, Godfather, Apocalypse Now. Um, he's a good director. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty know, good. Talk about, is. you know, he's, he's a winemaker. I think he's made far, because I listened to him on Howard Stern, yep. far more money in wine than he's ever even thought about in movies. He's not even close. Wild. Yeah, he's, he's I think. He's a couple hundred millionaire. Yeah, he's a couple in, hundred millionaire. He's done very, very well. Wow. Uh, anyway, he asked Francis Ford, he asked uh, F.P. Jorn, do you think that you can make a watch um, with an automaton in on, on the watch, mm -hmm. uh, a hand, after this inventor? Okay. And the hand, the hand has how many fingers? Five. Five. But the hand that tells you the hour. But if there's five fingers and there's 12 hours, what do you do with how the do other you do it? Eight. So F.P. Jorn developed... Um, not only numbers, but also hand signals that show you. Whoa. Which is pretty interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is he doing on this one? It doesn't matter. Nine. No, no, I'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, you know, from a, from a, again, this is, this is very similar to the, to the Louis Vuitton conversation, uh, a little bit less deep. Um, the Louis Vuitton conversation is more interesting, but um, this is a feat of engineering. This is yeah. brilliant. Yeah. This is oh, brilliant. Yeah. It is also incredibly ugly. Really? You like the dial? Yeah. You're an idiot. <laughs> I like that you dial are a lot. Tasteless I being. love that watch. I mean, oh my yeah, yeah. God. Absolutely love it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I hate it. Really? The hand. I that's what that's the only part I like. You're that's the only part that I don't like. The rest <laughs> of it's cool to me. No, I love that. You like that. Yeah, I think that's crazy. It's wow. so weird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I love it. That is bizarre. <laughs> Your opinions do not like they do not um, they carry line up through. with yours. Yeah, no, 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 they don't carry through. <laughs> like, like, yeah. uh, like we'll be out, and uh, you know, ah, never mind, never mind. What? So I was gonna talk about like, nah, we can't go there, but like, you know, talking about girls. <laughs> and then we said like, but it's interesting. She's, in you'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah, oh, okay, buddy. <laughs> I'm talking about sheer beauty, and you're like, no, dude, but it's weird. I'm like, dude, that's not even close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, I. So I guess the question is, I'll pose to you guys: is, you know, how do you weigh, you know, like this stuff? Like, is it because it's brilliant? Is that enough for you to like it? Like, is are you sheerly on the engineering level? Mm. You know, assume you hate the way the slouch looks. Maybe you yeah, like course, Michael. Maybe course. maybe you, maybe you like it. Maybe like I you don't it. have you don't taste. Right. Um. But like, is does this sheer brilliance enough, in like, make you passionate, or mm. does there need to be a mm. balance with aesthetics? Like, does it still need to look good, even though it's a brilliant design? Right. Like, are you just like, well, no, 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 no. Like, it does this. It, it, like the the finger goes in. It's a question for you guys. Like, you know, where are your priorities? Like, can, can you buy something that you think is brilliant, uh, even if you think it's kind of a little bit ugly? Do you find that that's attractive? Yeah, is right. it oddly attract? Are you oddly attracted to things that are ugly but but brilliant? You know what I Our mean. greatest test. Our greatest <laughs> test. <laughs> uh, Sam is like, dude, I, I, you got me. I, are you attracted? Yes, the answer is yes. That's both okay. of us on a first date. Are you attracted to something that's ugly but brilliant? <laughs> 
By the way, I'm like, I don't, eat, about I don't eat meat, I don't drink, I don't smoke. I eat, yeah, so this is going to be a really uncomfortable yeah. mistake. Yeah, so uh, only watch. They did a great job. They raised $30 million. That's great. Um, if, you, if you if you have luxury items, you, well, no one should be cheap. But if you have luxury items, you certainly shouldn't be cheap. Yeah. Um, and this goes back to even the FBJ. And like, for me, um, yes, uh, I like a really good story. I like a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not super technical. Yep. Um, I I think that I think that supporting this like the, the the actual craft of of this the super hot horology mechanical mm-hmm. stuff is like incredible. It should never die. Yep. You know I, I used and to, some trickles down. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Uh, recapping, I'm looking forward to seeing what Louis Vuitton does, and and on that note, I'm looking forward to seeing what Louis Vuitton or, or what LVMH, the parent company, does with Tiffany. And that's interesting as well, because yep. Tiffany's going to be completely rebranded or completely you know, overhauled in their watch department. Yep. I am very interested in seeing the watch, the moves going on in the watch community. Everyone's talking about Rolex and AP and talking about like the, the well, AP is a little bit different because uh, the Code 1159 is doing very well. And that's interesting to me. Um, but everyone's talking about the obvious. Yep. And I'm like, what's the future for Tiffany? Tiffany, I feel like, has always been like, I'm like, wow, it's a beautiful design, but it, it's like... They have never leaned into anything a ton. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yep. And they could easily... Always one foot in, one foot out. Yeah, always. You're yep. like, that's cool, but it's not that cool. The yes. watch that the, the driver's watch? Yep. Love that watch. Love But it. it's always just like, mm, eh. Yep. You're close. You're close. Yeah. You didn't do it. Yeah. Exactly right. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. Um, but yeah, this is good stuff. Tudor announces the Black Bay GMT, one of only... One for one, only watch the unique as here, Black Bay. It's just an age case. case. It's just, is it just scratched? What is the material? Yeah, it's just scratched, dude. They're like, we had, we, had, we had the watchmaker take sandpaper before. It. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Result of a secret stain... Oh, it's secret. So yeah, sandpaper. Okay, that's whatever. exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I don't care. Uh, that's oh, that's, that's kind of nice. cool. That's kind of cool. But uh, no, $650,000. It long looks long. like one of those like Pirates of the Caribbean style necklaces you can get yeah. at like a souvenir shop. Yeah, yeah. That's a, the secret. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Well, anyway, so if you want to buy a tutor for $650,000, tune in next year to Only Watch. Only Watch. Or just uh, take your tutor Black Bay and, um, you know, for like three grand and just be happy. What if you want to buy a reasonably priced vintage watch? Oh, theonharris.com. How about, well, it's the question on to you now. Lay it on me. What if you would like to buy a strap that's maybe, let's say, handmade outside of Paris or maybe in uh, Italy or maybe in Texas? Theonharris.com. And if people don't buy straps, I don't make. Well, I don't eat is the problem. And then I lose weight. And then I, I wither away and there's no more shell. Right. Yeah, if you, if you guys don't buy straps, I'll just stop doing it's not, it. It's not a big deal. We want to get this across. It's not a big deal. No. We'll just stop, and just you'll die. Stop doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to get another... Oh, Taylor's next to me. <laughs> Go figure. See you later. <laughs> I gotta run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if uh, if you don't do well, you die. Yeah, yeah, People, People think that you got this big flashy lifestyle. I'm like, no, that's... If he doesn't do that, he dies. He it's actually dies. Thing. He starts to fade away. Yeah, he, he becomes translucent. Yeah. Stick your hands like, through him. Stick your hand through him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, good talking to you guys. See you all soon. Ah, uh, we were off. <laughs>